That was loud. That was really loud. What is up, trolling? How's it going, my brother? What's up? Oh, not a whole lot. Reaching out to my old bricklaying boss, seeing if he wants to take me back. The old bricklaying. Yep, bricklaying. Love it. What's it like nope. laying bricks? So imagine this, right? You're working out in 101 degree weather in a nice hot sunny day on 30 foot scaffolding and since you're the very and since you're at the bottom of the totem pole while well, everyone just sits and put bricks on the wall with uh, concrete, you're running brick back and forth in 101 degree weather mixing a concrete mixer at the same time while being yelled at by four giant dudes MORE MUD! MORE MUD! MORE MUD! MORE BRICK! MORE BRICK! MORE BRICK! MORE MUD! MORE MUD! For 12 hours. Sounds like a party. Oh, it definitely uh, puts marriage just put that way. Ah! Yep, I'm still my boss to take me back, that's all. Why did your boss let you go? Migraines. Before you and I met this, I took this job a year ago when I was 25, when I just turned 25, and the first week he actually loved me because since I was running four miles a day, not five miles a day, I was running brick up and down the hill. I was running with uh, concrete up over oh, wow. my shoulder, the concrete next year, I have to mix it. And I was, the first week he absolutely loved me. He's like, Matthew, for every four people I hire, all four of them put together equal one of you. One moment. <clears throat> Second week, there's a job up in Hudson, Wisconsin, and we're setting up 30 foot scaffolding, and then the migraines kicked off where I'm seeing spectrals of lights everywhere. I can't think or process any information. I got three dudes yelling at me, which is typical, whatever, but I just could not think or focus at all. It's like, can't even process any information. So he's just like, hey, Matthew, you busy this Saturday? Yeah, it's Friday, follow the balls. It's like, no, he's just like, we got some side work this you and I need to do. I'm like, okay. He picks me up, it wasn't a side job, he drove around with me for an hour and a half and explained to me on where everything I screwed up on the second week and but the first week I did phenomenal and he's just like, Matthew, and not, and he, was just like, and he was being really nice about it, like he would take you to dinner after work and stuff like that, super cool boss. But he told me, he's like, he's like, I know I started you off at 19 and typically after the first two weeks I take my general laborers and I jump them up to 29 and keep in mind this is non-union, he goes, I'm gonna have to bump you down to 14. I was like, can we negotiate 15? He goes, now that's pushing it. He goes, but anyways, we're, but we're, we'll reassess in two weeks. I'm like, okay. So going on to the third week, I had to call him sick the second two days because my migraines were just coming in furious. And he goes, hey man, you were a really hard worker, but we're going to have to go second ways. I'm like, all right, fair enough. He was nice enough though. He drove up to my house though and dropped me off my money, and I was just like, you know, I was like, hey man, I'm really sorry for wasting your time. He's like, he's like, Matthew, you didn't waste my time at all. Just get yourself better. He's like, you can come back to work for me. So he hung out with you to tell you that you're fired. He drove around because he told me, he's like, Matthew, he's like, you show up to the job site with a bright attitude, which a lot of the people that I hire that are new, they show up there with a sour attitude because he's like, typically the people I hire, Matthew, A, they don't have a high school diploma, B, they're either felons, or C, they have a drug problem. Because when I first walked up to his job site, he took one look at me and he goes, You're obviously not a drug addict. You have your high school diploma. You're not a felon. He's like, why the hell do you want to be a bricklayer? <laughs> that was his first. That was his first question when he met me in person. So, but anyways, as first we were working with each other though, I kept showing up to the job site because it's construction though. You have to show up there with a good attitude. Or you're gonna have a bad day though. And he's like, Matthew, you make me happy. He just kept saying that, he goes, you make me happy. He's like, you show up here with a positive attitude, that's really unheard of for all the people that I hire. 
And then the second week I had to break his hopes and dreams because he told me, he's just like, he's like, for how well you're doing, he's like, from two years from now, if you keep this up, he's like, he's like, you're going to get your own, uh, working because like they drive around with that giant tr trailer in the back with all their tools. And he's like, you'll be driving around with your own work truck, work this, whatever, work trailer. He's just like, you'll, but you'll be responsible for hiring your own workers. And he's like, and I'll give you your own contract so you have to fill out. So I'm like, this is looking pretty good. And then the My Dreams came, took it away, and I'm like, and I lost it. Where's this Jake? I haven't seen the Jake. Jake's around some banking people, eh? So I literally texted my boss a couple of hours ago on Sunday. He doesn't typically get back to people um, unless he usually respects the uh, response but right away. Though, but since it's a Sunday, he doesn't get back to people until like eight, nine, ten, or even eleven o'clock at night. Oh nope, he seen my message. Didn't respond. <laughs> that answers that question. Or he's thinking about it. Well, I was going to take this other job, but I was speaking to my older brother, and he's like, don't do it. I was like, okay. Intent. Bartender? Yep. Yeah. Not a good... Because people who get into that never get out of it. They get into it thinking, oh, it's good money, I'll do it for a little while. But then they end up being bartenders the rest of their life. There you are, Jake. There you are. Where have you been hiding my whole life, Jake? I think he's gonna kill himself on hook, probably. Unless the headphone headset were back down, we'll pick up your back, alright? Okay. Oh, he's not gonna kill himself. This Meg is so weird. One minute she wants me to chase her, the next minute she wants me to cut her a break. Who's back? Back again. Cheryl's back. Tell a friend. Exactly. I don't think you can blink out of the basement anymore. Oh, there you go. Died. Why? He killed himself. You should have talked him out of it. Hmm? You should have talked him out of it. I wanted to mori him. Okay, <laughs> they did kill himself. <sighs> Thank you. 
I don't think this Kate's gonna save her either. Oh, she did. Oh, I'm getting blown up for all some reason. Jeez. Hmm. I'm getting blown up by people. But I'm not need to take a phone call. Made of DC. Uh, one of them DC'd, and then one of them killed himself on hook. And then we're, I'm just playing around with these two. I'm just mooring them for the Joe. <laughs> this Meg. I think this Meg just wants the chase. <laughs> uh, 
don't see a pallet anywhere. She might be bugged on me. Oh. There, it took a while for her to get out. Jeez, man. Jake here, why work with my teammates to kill me? People like you really make me not want to learn how to play this game. It's hard enough to, it's hard enough on controller and being hard of hearing. I wasn't working with them. What? I wasn't working with them to kill you. You killed yourself. Well, unless they didn't go. No, one was. One of them was coming to save you. Actually, this Meg was coming to get you. You killed yourself. I don't know what you're talking about. Annoying people. He killed himself, and then says I'm working with them to kill him, like I need their help.
poked me three times? Nuh uh. No, I didn't. Hold on a second. I don't think that happened. Kate tried to kill herself and got unhooked. You're probably confused with mm, I'm gonna check. I don't think you got hooked three times. Hold on a second. Do, 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 do. Like, why the hell do you want to be a bricklayer? <laughs> that was his first. That was his first question when he met me in person. All right, let me check this. Cause there's Don't Jake. The pause. It's like. You're All right, hold on a second. I'm, I'm yeah. rewinding the stream. Talking question. about bricklaying. Our life. Come on, let's see. Working a good Kai, team. Look, okay, so Jake's hooked. That's not. That's no, the that's the first himself. hook right there. All right, he's still alive. Okay, he's down. Cheryl to back. the basement. Tell a friend. Okay. Exactly. To the basement, and that. I don't think There's a second hook. The basement anymore. Oh, there you go. Okay, that's a second hook right there. Right? That's not. That's not three. Now watch. Watch from my perspective. Right? You hear Meg. I can hear her. She's around. She's right there. Okay. She's coming. Look. You killed you yourself. Died. Why? She was right there coming to save you. That was your second hook. I didn't hook you three times. He killed himself. You killed yourself. You missed your skill checks or something on purpose, or maybe just missed them. I only hooked you twice. I want to pip to red rank one. That means I got to pip four more times. <laughs> 